My name is Umar and I live here in East York and I am working from the past five years for different app-based uh, companies because I was from the business background so I like this independence and setting my own schedule and being able to work anytime I want. When people come to Canada they go through different struggles you know going to interview then the requirements are different for different jobs. Gig work is probably the most easiest way for someone to quickly start some work. Everyone likes the independence so the world sounds very appealing but once we get into it, then we feel that it's not independent, but we are forced to go through whatever the companies want us to do. So the worst part of the job is not getting paid for the time and effort to put into this work. The companies, they put the surge map on just to bring drivers out sometimes. If weather is like this, they would put the surge map on. Drivers would think that it's going to be a very good day. We'll make lots of money, but once they go out, they don't find any order at all. So they spend two, three hours and then finally they come home. So this three hour is gone wasted. This is what we need to change, that whatever time and hard work we are putting in for the companies and growing their business, then they should also take care of, of their drivers and you know treat them as employees. I got sick when I was working and I was making deliveries to uh, you know, COVID patients, uh, providing them medicines as well, sometimes taking their uh, you know samples to the lab. For a month and a half, I was severely sick. And many nights I felt like, you know, I'm not gonna make it. But still, I, you know, when I got better, I get back to work again, you know, to, because I, I felt good about it because people were really appreciating us. But the, from the government side, we didn't get any help. We didn't get any safety gear, neither from our companies, nor from the government. There was no health or other work-related benefits that we had. We were just on our own. That is what independent contractor means to us, that on your own on your own risk, you know, work with the companies. Canada is like a garden of human flowers. So this is our beauty that we are so diverse and multicultural that people from all over the world, all races, color and religion, we see here. We should appreciate uh, this diversity. Some customers which are negative, you know, they show uh, this kind of discrimination or hatred. These uh, discrimination events now have become part of our, you know, daily routine. So we have become used to uh, you know, facing it and avoiding it and just passing through it after the London event. The concern is that we gig workers, we are working on the roads all the time. Our job is to pick up and drop off all the time. So definitely it becomes a concern when we listen to these kind of uh, news again and again on the radio. But I think that we still need to do a lot of work on inclusion. Diversity is here, but inclusion is going to take some time and effort. So we want to say that the real change is still required in the gig economy. Gig workers are still looking forward to the governments and politicians to make essential changes through which we'll be able to get our rights, health and uh, safety rights, and the ability to negotiate with the companies we are working with to get better rights for the gig workers.